Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Gary Blackwood. Welcome back to the vlog. This is the third day in a row I've tried to do some WSOP vlogging, but I keep busting before dinner and nobody wants to see that, so it never makes its way onto YouTube. Today, hopefully third time lucky, we are playing the WSOP six max $3,000 buy-in. So I'm here with my buddies, Max Demerick, Cash Grinder, and uh, yeah, the Linus Love of New Jersey BB is sick, AKA Jared Poir. Uh, but yeah, really hopeful that I can make it past dinner today so I can actually put this on YouTube. But without further ado, let's go straight into the WSOP and check out the scene. All right, so we're here. We're here, uh, ready yeah. to play, yeah. Look at the room, look how beautiful it is. Yeah, are you excited? Very excited. How much are we swapping? A 10. A 10? 10? 3. 3%? Three. 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 3. Lucky 3. All right, let's do it. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Let's fucking do this. Okay, so obviously no filming is allowed here at the WSOP, unless of course your name is Daniel Negreanu. So we're gonna have to just make do with what we've got. We're also starting four-handed, so it's gonna be fast paced, lots of hands. And our first hand of note comes in level one when I open King Eight of Clubs on the button, bringing it in for a three X raise here. I'm gonna get called by the small blind and the big blind. We go three ways to nine, seven deuce with two clubs. Pretty good flop for me. And when I'm thinking about how much I wanna see bet, the big blind actually leads into me for 700 chips. Now calling is of course fine here, but I've got a very strong draw and an overcard to the board. So I decide to fast play. I make it 2,700 to go. She isn't going anywhere. She makes the call. To the turn we go, it's the king of diamonds. Top pair now to go with my flush draw. And I decide to get a little sneaky here and check this one back. Our hand needs no protection and I don't want to scare away a hand like second or third pair. So I check to the river. It's another king. Really good run out for me. I've got three of a kind and even better when she leads into me for 3,000 chips. Very easy raise here. I make it 10.2K to go. But unfortunately, this gets a quick fold she was probably bluffing herself with a missed draw no harm done though it's a very nice pot coming my way early in the tournament 30 minutes later level two now the same player from the last hand raises on the button to 800 that's just under three big blinds and i look down at ace five offsuit in the big blind easy call for me don't need to get too fancy here to a flop we go and it's a very good one ace seven five rainbow ace is up for me and the button puts in a big c bet here for 1300 chips now raising is obviously fine here but the solver loves to do this thing where it raises top two and bottom two and likes to call a lot with top and bottom pair so i go ahead i make the call to the turn we go it's an offsuit 10 i check and the button decides to check this one back hoping for a clean river that looks clean enough it's an eight i'm definitely going for value here and i want to go big i bet 4200 chips my opponent reaches for chips and she very quickly clicks it to 10,000. it's kind of a gross spot but the price is too good i sigh i call and she shows me six four of diamonds for a very sneaky rivered straight super disappointing to lose that one and i spend the next hour or so just bleeding off in super normal spots my 40k starting stack all the way down to 22k i'm feeling a little tilted because the table is very soft and i want to make hands and get value next up in level three there have been four limps i look down in the big blind at ace 10 offsuit and make it 3600 to go hoping to get one collar at most but it falls round to the button who actually shoves all in it's only 3500 more so i of course make the call she turns over king queen offsuit a slight favorite here and hoping to hold Thankfully able to hold here, a nice pot coming my way. Not quite back up to starting stack, but the bad news comes very soon that our table is breaking. It's a really good table, so I'm kind of disappointed. I rack up and wish everyone luck. Moving over to a much tougher table, I've got Tyler from State Kings, a couple of unknown pros, and Scottish legend Neil Farrell at my table now. Lots and lots of small pots here before I secure my first knockout of the tournament. We're in level six, and MP has raised to 1,200, which is a min raise the cutoff calls and I look down at pocket sevens on the button I thought for a second about squeezing here just to get it in versus MP and his 20 big blind stack but I decide to just call and that's going to bring in the big blind as well four ways to a flop and what a flop it is it is eight seven four with two hearts middle set on a wet board multi-way when it checks to me I'm always betting this hand I bet two thousand chips around one third pot and it is music to my ears when the big blind decides to check raise to 6k 
The other players fold and I'm not messing around. I three bet shove for around 17K total. My opponent is never folding. He sighs, he makes a call and he turns over queen eight suited for top pair. No flush draw, no backdoor flush draw. Really safe run out for me. And that's gonna get my stack all the way up to 63.4K, finally moving in the right direction. And when I look down at two black aces around 20 minutes later, I'm hoping it will keep moving up, up, up. We're five handed now, I am first to act. I make it 1800 to go, the cutoff calls and a new player to the table who starts the hand with 40k starting stack decides to put in the squeeze to 6100 dream spot for me and i of course four bet i put the price of poker on up to 16.5k the button makes the call around 40 percent of a stack is in the middle now to the flop we go it is king 10 deuce rainbow a good board for me to get paid on no slow playing allowed i bet 9,000 chips around quarter pot the button is going to make the call this pot is escalating to the turn we go it is a jack that brings a diamond flush draw my opponent has got very little behind here and there's already so much in there so with a low spr i just close my eyes and shove all in hoping he doesn't snap he does not snap and after a few seconds i know i have the best hand after about two solid minutes he eventually makes the fold no idea what he had maybe pocket jacks queen jack suited something like that either way i'm dragging in another very nice pot threatening to break the 100k barrier for the first time today all right, so we're on break now. We played eight levels. I've got uh, about 85K from 40K starting. What you got? 41K. 73. Max lay reg coming in with 73. Not max lay reg. Registration's still going. You just come in and like get kings and double up and oh, look at that. I'm still... Um... No, I didn't double up. I, I I lost a huge part in that hand. Uh, yeah, I do that. I was needling you. <laughs> right, doom <okay>. zoom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to work. Uh, hopefully I can make dinner. I don't think I'm going to rebuy now if I do bust my chips because I don't want to pay three thousand dollars for like 30 big blinds but we'll see how we go but yeah let's get back to it all right coming back to the action here in level 10 and under the gun has shoved for around 11 big blinds it folds to me in the small blind and i look down at a pair of tens very easy reshove here i'm probably going with like sixes plus the big blind snap folds and i'm heads up against ace deuce of hearts just before the cards are dealt under the gun actually apologizes to me in advance Good luck. sorry as you can see i did not hold there but the table is a lot of fun everyone's having a good time and unfortunately after that hand our table now breaks heading over to the new table i can see justin young a couple of other pros and the guy in the black hoodie with his back to me is none other than wsop main event winner martin jacobson super nice guy but having him on my direct left was a fucking nightmare he re-raised me at least 50 percent of the time but it's a lot of fun playing against the best players in the world first hand at the new table and it's a funky one just Justin Young pops it to 4k in MP, the cutoff calls, the small blind calls, and I am priced in in the big blind here with 8-6 of diamonds. To the flop we go, it is 5-4-3 rainbow with one diamond. Just when I'm debating whether or not I want to lead on this board, the small blind actually beats me to it. She bets out for 11k. Normally when you lead, you should do it for less than one third pot, so this is very unusual. Still, I'm not going anywhere just yet. I make the call, kind of hoping everyone else just folds and we can go heads up, which is exactly what happens. To the turn we go it's the eight of hearts i've now got top pair but still lots of hands we could be losing to the small blind checks i'm really not sure what the best play is here but i think i like betting out and seeing where i'm at we buy showdown we get value from some draws so i bet out for 13.5k leaving myself around 40,000 behind after mulling it over the small blind folds i'm obviously not bluffing when i bet there but kind of happy to see her fold and i get to drag in this pot and get my stack up back up to 80k once again moving in the right direction here all right, next up is a very fun one. I'm under the gun in level 11 and min raise with 10 nine of spades to 5K. The button is a fun player and he puts in the three bet, but it's a min three bet. He makes it 10K to go. Is this a limit holding tournament? I, of course, am not going anywhere. I make the call. We go heads up to ace, six, deuce rainbow with one spade. I check and the button is gonna check this one back. To the turn we go, it's the five of spades. I've picked up a flush draw, but still don't wanna bloat this pot out of position with just 10 high. So I check again and the delay C bet 
bet comes in from the button, but it's only for 5k. It's a min bet on the turn, a great price for me. I, of course, make the call to the river. It's the queen of spades. What a ridiculous hand of poker this is. And I'm not messing around here. I decide to donk out on the river. I lead for 35,000, trying to get called by something, anything. Sure enough, my opponent does make the call. I show my flush and he smiles and mucks his hand. No idea what he had, but I will certainly take it. I managed to chip up very nicely throughout level 12. Lots of nice medium-sized pots coming my way. And next up, I open with pocket eights on the button to 7K. And Justin Young decides to three bet rip into me for about 100K total. I, of course, make the call, putting him at risk in the process. And he turns over ace four offsuits. He thought I was stealing. He tried to re-steal. The board runs out clean for me. And I scoop in a huge pot to head into dinner break and the end of late reg on one bullet with a very healthy stack. All right, so we're on dinner break. I have to do this very, very quickly. I've got about 270k going back to, what's the big one now? 4k. 4k. How much you got? 145. What have you got? 255. Feeling good? Feeling great. Hands in, let's go. WSLP on three. One, two, three. WSLP! I can't WSLP. believe you actually did that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick shout out to my buddies JP and Gareth for being good sports and helping me get over my fear of filming in public. And not long after dinner break, my table breaks. Super happy to get Martin Jacobson away from my immediate left. But when I sit at my new table, I've got David Peters on my immediate left. He is max late reg though, so he's only got 40K. And in the very first hand at the new table, he shoves it all in under the gun. I am in the big blind and wake up with a monster. I've got ace king, I make the call. He shows me ace, jack, off suit. The flop is jack high with two clubs. The turn is another club. Can we get there? Yes, we can. Fourth club hits the river to give me a flush and send him to the rail. Super happy that he didn't double up and I would have another elite pro to my left with a big stack. I'm still running good and what's more, the payouts are now updated for all to see. 246 of us are left. There is 187 paid and a massive half a million and then some for first. We can't think about that just yet though. We got to keep grinding it out, secure the cash and take it from there. Weirdly enough, when they posted the payouts, we went from 200 146 players left to 196 very very quickly but when we got very close to the bubble as expected it started to drag i'm not complaining though my stack is around half a million at this point and i'm abusing the bubble as best i can picking up lots and lots of small pots chipping up nicely as i'm supposed to as the big stack and on the stone bubble the big blind has 50k total that's five big blinds i am under the gun with eight deuce offsuit and decide to raise this is very loose of course but he should in theory be continuing so so tight that I can open really fucking wide here with the very short stack in the big blind he was a very solid pro from Greece very nice guy and what's more he was the identical twin of Phil Galfond the resemblance was uncanny so I open it up with eight deuce off he tanks for about three minutes and eventually decides to put in his last few big blinds on the stone bubble $4,800 if I bust him here and he's got ace 10 off suit that was not supposed to happen let's see if we we can punish him and knock him out as the bubble boy. All right, so we're on the stolen bubble out. We've got eight dudes versus ace 10. You look good. Club. That's okay, I guess. Jack or club? I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Phil Galfond. relieved. <laughs> <laughs> A very risky play from the Greek Phil Galfond here, and it has worked out very well for him. Once more, my cover has been blown and I can't be opening super wide anymore. Thankfully, however, the bubble burst not long after this hand, and we get our standard WSOP ITM cheer. as expected after a very long bubble the next 30 minutes become a complete shove fest all the players that have crawled into the money now want to put their chips in and see if they can double up naturally i find myself involved in a bunch of all-in pots it's now level 17 the big blind is worth 10,000. i've got about 600k in my stack and raise under the gun with pocket nines the button decides to three bet shove for 185k that's 18.5 bigs it falls to me and i think we have to call it off with nines here so i make the call and we're up against Big slick ace king classic race over to you, dealer. Heads up. Go on, buddy. Damn it. 
a very nice hold there after the button turning some extra outs pushing my stack up to 800k 80 big blinds is huge at this point of the tournament it's been a very swingy day delighted to be swinging up to my peak and next up in level 18 it folds around to me in the small blind i look down at ace eight offsuit i eye up the big blind stack thinking he's got around about 13 or 14 bigs i shove it all in he's actually got 17 big blinds bit of a mistake from me he makes the call with pocket fours and again we're flipping for a pot worth over 400,000 chips. The four on the flop leaves me needing a miracle and unfortunately I couldn't find that miracle and just like that my stack drops back down to 600k. It is still absolute chunks though but it would have been nice to break the million barrier by winning that flip. Now this part of the tournament is obviously very swingy but thankfully it dies down a little and we get to see some flops again. Next up is such a fun hand. We're in level 19 around 12 hours into the day. It's been a long grueling day but we got to finish strong here. The button is open to 35k. I'm in the small blind with king 10 offsuit. I make the call here remember we're definitely allowed a flatting range in the small blind the big blind comes along as well we go three ways to the flop it is queen 10 9 all clubs really good flop for me i've got the gut shot the flush draw and second pair this one is going to check all the way through to the turn it's an offsuit seven i don't think this hand is strong enough to bet out here multi-way remember the big blind is doing very well here so i decide to check as does the big blind as does the button to the river we go it's a very yucky eight of hearts there's now a four liner to the straight on board i can't bet i check the big blind checks and the button takes a stab here for fifty thousand chips i think for a while and i also pick up a bit of a read on the button i'm not going to say what it is but fun players tend to look in a certain direction when they're bluffing and this player was doing just that so i put my cape on i make the hero call and happy to see the big blind snap fold and even happier to see the button instantly muck and say you got it the pots are getting huge now this pot is worth two hundred twenty-five thousand. really happy to make the call with just second pair on that board Next up, I find myself flipping again. Under the gun is open to 32k off of around 240k. I'm in the big blind and look down once more at Big Slick. Dealer, throw me an all in button, please. Under the gun size. He makes a call. He's got pocket eights. And once again, we're flipping for several hundred thousand chips. Such a sweaty turn card after that great flop. Thankfully, the river was clean and I was able to score another knockout and drag in another big pot, flipping very well today indeed. Down to the final two levels of the night, I have built my stack up to 1 million chips. And once again, we're on the move. Six Mac tournaments with big fields made a lot of tables breaking, lots of moving. It's really standard stuff. I move in the middle of level 20 and after playing for around 15 minutes with no notable hands, at the start of level 21, I get moved again. This is the final move of the night for me for the last couple of levels i get moved to a new table with a very tough very aggressive player on my left but fortunately i'm able to pick up three or four small pots before the night is through to end up bagging 1 million and 15 thousand chips and our 1241 entrants have been whittled down to just 57 players i'm in for one bullet i've locked up 8400 dollars and change i am absolutely delighted with my efforts today and head home for a quick sleep before heading back in for day two and that is us, the end of the day. I bagged 1,015,000 chips uh, going into day two tomorrow. There's less than 60 players left. I'm super fucking happy. I feel like I played really well today. Kind of ran quite well as well, obviously, but uh, yeah, 1 million chips. It's about 34 bigs going into tomorrow. Uh, some big names still on the field, um, but yeah, I'm going to go home and sleep and uh, get out fresh and early tomorrow and fucking smash it. Let's do it.